Hey guys, welcome back. So today I am here with a D stash that I had bought in one of the D stash groups. I had gone in on, I want to say it was Saturday, and I had put up an ISO for uh, Princess of Monaco from VCS. I've been melting it a lot lately. It has just been really hitting the spot for me. Um, I've really fallen in love with uh, lemon curd marshmallow blends and just lemon curd in general. Um, and so she had messaged me, her name's Margaret, she's super nice, and she said, oh, I have, you know, a partial loaf that's cut up, blah, 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 do you want it? And I said, yeah, I would love it. Um, and then she said, well, what, are you looking for anything? I said, I'm always looking for stuff. I mean, I have a laundry list of scents, because I am on the newer side to VCS, so there's a lot of things that I've tried that I like, a lot of things that sound good that I want to try. I don't want loaves of things I've never tried. That to me is counterproductive. Like what if I get a loaf and then hate it? Things can sound so good on paper and then smell so horrible in real life. So I knew I liked Princess of Monaco, so I was okay buying almost a full loaf because <laughs> I've been melting it quite consistently. So, um, you know, she said, well, I have some shapes and some roses and some coins and whatever of all of different scents. And so she just said, she came up with what I thought was a very fair price and I paid it. And, you know, she had messaged me that she had sent it. I guess she shipped it, I guess Monday, cause I got it Wednesday. And, um, so there's three things that I knew were going to be in there. And then the rest, as far as I'm concerned, are all extras because the weights of these things to me, plus the shipping cost is what basically what I paid and the rest of this was extra. Um, I know she watches my videos. She has mentioned that. Um, so I do want to give a shout out to her. Thank you so, so much. I know I said I was gushing in my, my messages. I don't know how she got, got it all in here. And it was double bagged. I don't know how because I put it back in the PFRE to store it overnight so I could do the video this morning. And I could not get it all back in. And she had it all wrapped neatly in uh, tissue paper. And I'm like, how did you get this? So, Because I can't even put it back in. So anyway, so I'm going to just jump right in with this. So the first thing is, of course, this Princess of Monaco. I am totally good with older wax. Um, 2016 is right up my alley. That is what I'm currently melting and getting the best throw from. I was not a member of the wax community um in until November of 2016 and I did not even start buying from VCS till f February or March of 2017. Um I am trying to get 2016 wax because I do get the best performance. Me personally, I get the best performance from Kirby's wax between 9 and 15 months after the pour date. Um I do know some things like Cafe Reggio, I could not wait and I melted some right away, but then I got Imogene's Lavender Supreme Margot's Pearls that are from the same month and those are not throwing for me. So it just depends on the product and the oils, what scent it is, if it's strong on cold, whatever. Um, so anyways, I am trying to stock up on late 2016 into early 2017 so I have something to melt until my current stuff gets to age. So I, w I went ahead and weighed this, and I believe it was right around 13 ounces, so it is almost a whole loaf, because this is, I believe, one of just a unicorn loaf, because that's what it looks like, just a standard one color unicorn loaf, and they're usually 14, 14 and a half ounces. So this is, I believe, 13 ounces, so this is almost a full loaf, um, and that is great. It's going to last me a few minutes anyway. Um, I'm trying to not have it be so, like melting constantly um the next thing is she had asked me if i liked grandma's pink pearls and i or i don't know if i put it on my list or if she asked if i wanted it um and i said if you could spare a few ounce an ounce or two that'd be great she wound up sending me nine over nine ounces i already read this as well um and so that's this this is yeah it's a little over nine ounces and this is also from late 2016 so this this I'm going to start melting at night. I love peppermint at night. Um, I get a lot of he headaches in the winter. Um, I think it's just because it's so dry in the house from having the heat on. Um, I just get, I get a lot of congestion. Um, like my allergies run basically 24, 7, 365, but it seems like in the winter, it seems to be worse. I do like a lot of peppermint blended with lavender at nighttime in the winter because it does kind of help me breathe. And it just, it, if I do have a headache from the dryness, it helps. So this is also awesome. I am so happy to have that much of that because it'll last a while. 
And the last thing that I knew about was Princess of Monaco and Jackie O's orange sherbet. She had said she thought she might have had just Jackie O's orange sherbet because she'd seen that I'd been like crazy looking for it. Um, and she didn't. She had it mixed with this. But because I love Princess of Monaco so much, I was so excited. I did not care if it was mixed. So it's basically the lemon curd marshmallow and then marshmallow birthday cake vanilla bean oil orange sherbet. Um, I will eventually get some orange sherbet, Jackie O's orange sherbet of my own that's by itself. But right now this will hold me over. Um, this one is another one that's super, super strong right now because it is, as far as I'm concerned, freshly cured. So these will go all in my bin to melt now versus waiting. The next thing I got um, is Jackie O and Callie. And this is another one that is freshly cured cured marshmallow birthday cake vanilla bean noel mar mango sorbet i'm starting to really like fruity scents i used to only like fruity if it was mixed with like cake or bakery and now i'm really starting to like fruity by itself all of this does have birthday cake in it but um yeah this is one that i'm i really like um so those th these three right here are what i knew i was getting so as far as i'm concerned the rest of this is extra um because according to what i paid the weight of these three things plus the shipping cost is about what I paid. And then the rest of these, as far as I'm concerned, are extras. So this one I'm really going to need to find more of because that, that sounds so, or it smells so good. Next is Princess Juliet. And this one is the only one I was not sure about at first because it is primarily fruity. Lemon, marshmallow, orange, sherbet, satsuma, tangerine, whipped cream. But I will tell you, this is what is turning me into a fruity lover because it smells amazing. I like Satsuma a lot, and I'm starting to really like uh, citrus stuff, so I think I may be turning the corner and liking some more fruity that's not so, you know, mixed with bakery. The next one is one of my favorites. It's Strawberry Jackie O. I do have a loaf of it in the cupboard, but it is freshly poured, and this is more cured, so this one I'm going to melt in the meantime. It's fresh picked strawberries and then marshmallow birthday cake vanilla bean noel. I love Jackie O blends. I am always searching for Jackie O blends. Um, Jackie O blends are something that I, with that marshmallow birthday cake vanilla bean noel, I am constantly melting or trying to find because it just smells so good to me. This one I was really looking forward to. It's But that's none of my business. It's pistachio pudding, cherry chip, amaretto, cupcakes, and pink frosting. Now, I have tried Crybaby Killer, which has pistachio pudding cake, and Lucy and Ethel, which had pistachio pudding cake. So I have been on a hunt for anything pistachio pudding cake because it's so creamy and so good. And this was on my list to try. So this is perfect. I can cut this in half and see if I like it before I, you know, buy it if it you know, comes out in, you know, shapes or loaves or whatever. But I'm really liking pistachio pudding cake. This one I'm going to save for next fall because it is, you know, on the younger side and it is kind of fall-ish. It's Aunt Nellie's Zucchini Supreme. It's a scary looking cat, kind of like mine. Uh, pumpkin pecan waffle sugar cookie dough zucchini bread. And this smells really good. But this is one I'm definitely going to save for next fall because, you know, it, it is very, that's like September for me. This one I've never tried, but I want to because the scent notes are right up my alley. It's You Are My Lucky Star and it's Lemon Curd Buttercream. And as far as I'm concerned, these uh, roses and the leaves and the poinsettias and the coins are perfect for me to try these scents because you just never know. Um, I don't want to buy a loaf of something and then hate it. So I love these. That way I can try it. If I don't like it, I don't have a ton. If I do like it, I can put it on my list to buy more. And that smells so, so good. I love anything with lemon curd and anything with buttercream. All right, the next one, this is another one I was really looking for to try for winter. And it's Ice Palace Cookies, which is peppermint sugar cookie. And this does not disappoint. This smells just like I imagined. You get that sugar cookie note and then you get that peppermint. Yeah, I'm going to need to find some of this or look for it for next year or whatever. Because I have this and I think I got a coin and a D stash of it. The next one is one of my favorites and it is To Catch a Thief. 
which is peppermint noel cotton candy and this one i actually do have a loaf of but it is fresh from like september october so i don't want to really melt it right now because it's not fully cured this one is fully cured so this one's gonna go in my bin and these poinsettias i can get like five six melts out of these things are huge i get four melts out of a uh, rose and these i can i cut into like four or five pieces too so this is going to be good and now i can save my loaf for either late winter or even next winter or this is another good one for a headache because that peppermint just really really comes out and last but certainly not least i had gotten this in my sampler this month and i this is my probably my second favorite out of the entire sampler um other than the cookie monster margot blend and it is to catch margot and it is peppermint noel cotton candy and then marshmallow coconut cream pie or it's coconut marshmallow cream pie and this one was my second favorite out of the entire sampler and i'm so glad to have a second one um, this is just a very, very nice creamy scent. I'm sorry for the rustling. I know you guys hate rustling of wrappers. This is just so, so good. You get that peppermint and you get the sweetness and then you get that coconut cream pie. And oh my God, this was amazing. I am so glad to have a backup of that. So yeah, that is, that's, that's a lot of stuff. Um, I am so thankful. I know I've said it before. Thank you so much, Margaret. This was this was probably my favorite, my one of my very favorite de-stashes of this year. I mean, I am just blown away at your generosity. There, there's just, there's a lot here for what I paid. Um, I mean, it is amazing. I absolutely love all, all of this. There's not one that I'm even iffy on. Um, so anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Um, oh, and <laughs> I said in my last video, I'm not buying from the December restock yet. No, that's not happening. I'm just going to stop saying I'm going on a ban because something always happens. Um, it is a cookie monster restock. I have been trying to get my hands on cookie monster for months. The last two restocks I have not been able to get on at restock time for reasons beyond my control. And so I missed out. I am going to make a note to be home and on my computer <laughs> on restock day to get some Cookie Monster this time. <clears throat> I feel like going on a diet is going to be better than going on a ban because like I feel like I cannot, you know, go on a full ban. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to stop saying I'm going to and just go on a diet instead and buy less instead of stopping altogether. So anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video and I will talk to you all later. Have a great day. Bye.